Hey guys, today we're talking about the Horigen wearable breast pumps. You may have seen these on Amazon. I know they're all over the mom groups because they're very affordable, but they also look just like the LV. I was super curious to try them and guys, guess what? They worked great. I liked them. I do have a few tips for you. Real quickly, I'm going to show you what they look like on so that you know. Okay, so they kind of look like you've got a crazy boob job or something. But if you're wearing something super baggy, you can get away with probably secretly pumping. My thing is, nobody should care that you're pumping because you're pumping to feed your baby. So I feel like, you know, if you need to tell people I'm pumping under my shirt, they should not care. But if you do want to secretly pump, I think you could get away with it in a busy room with like something baggy on. I'm going to start by jumping into assembly. All right, grab this piece right here. Put this on, grab your duck bill. Your duck bill goes in the center right here. Make sure you have that on very nicely. Make sure it's straight. Now, this is important. You can't forget this. You grab your little ring and put it on right here. Make sure it's all the way at the top. Your pump comes with several replacement rings. So if it does get too stretched out or just wear and tear, be sure to change that out. Grab your milk container. It'll tell you which way you have to twist to lock it in place. So I'm gonna lock that in place. I'm gonna section all of this to the top of the motor and you will hear a little bit of a click. Hear that? So you know it's in. Grab your phalange. This is all silicone and so it's really comfortable. Just put that in there. There's an arrow at the top there. And then it came with two different inserts. It came with a 21 and a 17. So I'm gonna put in my 21. And there we go. Here is how to pump. You long hold down the power button. It's gonna start on massage mode. And how you know it's on massage mode is it's making short, quick pulls. To change it to expression, you press this mode button up here and then it's gonna switch to some longer pulls. And obviously here is the sound, it's pretty quiet. It has five different suction levels. So to increase, go right here, decrease the minus sign. I liked using level four on both massage mode and expression mode. When you're done pumping, you can just take off your phalange and then your milk will be in here. It did come with some bottle caps, so you can just twist that on if you need to store your milk right away in the fridge. It'll do up to five ounces, and it does have the markings right there. I usually pour it into a bag or a feeding bottle. When you pour, be really careful. It has a really wide hole right here, so just use some extra caution when you tip out your milk because we don't want to spill any milk. Okay, tips. You really, like all wearable pumps, need to make sure your nipple is directly in the middle. If it's to the side, wonky in any way, you're not gonna pump, you're not gonna get your milk, and it's gonna be very frustrating. So you can kind of sandwich your boob, place it on, or you can kind of roll it on, just to make sure your nipple is in the middle. If something feels off, be sure to check. <laughs> Most normal nursing bras will work perfectly fine. You might have to loosen your straps a little bit, but probably no regular bra with like an underwire or a lot of padding, those just wouldn't work well. When you're done pumping, be sure to lean forward and kind of roll it off because milk can still be in the center here and you want it to fall down into that milk container. You do have pretty good movements with your arms and everything, but I would not lean all the way forward. Definitely don't lay down. Keep in mind that you need to stay somewhat upright when you have these pumps on. With all my wearable pumps, I have to pump a little bit longer than I do my regular plug-in pump. So I always add up to an extra five minutes when I'm wearing a wearable pump. They just seem to need a little bit longer to empty you. I've had mine a few weeks and I haven't had any issues. The manual promises 500 hours at least of pumping life. It recommends that you replace the washable parts every three to six months. I mean, obviously that probably depends on how often you use them. Like I mentioned, they have some extra silicone rings and some extra valves. 
Those are probably the two things that you need to replace most frequently. Be sure to check the description box out for a link to this pump. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave your questions in the comments. I'll be sure to check them and try to answer them. If you see any questions that you know the answer to, feel free to comment away. Thank you so much for watching my video. I would love if you subscribe to my channel. If you're new, I'm a mama of two little ones. I talk about breastfeeding, about motherhood, mom life. I do vlogs, I do breast pump reviews. So I would love if you joined my YouTube fam. All right, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video.